something, something with the hair. And after that, our treat was the photo studio. So <laughs> we would. So you do your hair, they go and take pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the studio, yes, I remember. Oh, we, we had fun. We had fun. So seriously. I think I think this hair thing was like within us. And like when she traveled yeah. to the US, she learned it another way. And she was like, you know what? I was wondering why our hair never grows to this side and why it's not bouncy. Mm. So she had so to, learn to learn how to learn about relax the, the healthy, uh, relaxed hair journey. Because oh. my hair now yeah. was relaxed. Like all that her hair was relaxed, you know? Yeah. 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 So when I went to the US, um, I had issues with my hair, but I had also to learn how to do my own hair. You know, here yeah, it's easy. Yeah. They can't the afford it. View, yeah. And even if you know, you could go to places even when you can afford. The service and there are no people can do your hair because where i live like they're most like you know it's it's, it's uh they're not really black people okay, okay they're no black people <laughs> we are the only black people in, in in my community so yeah usually as in your family that you're the only black right people now, but before we moved to where we are right now there were a few but they were not like mm -hmm. they couldn't do my hair couldn't do re relax and stuff mm -hmm. so i had to learn i trained myself okay. i had to learn like i went to youtube i said to learn how do you keep you know, relaxed hair, nice. You know, so I, I learned about the the healthy hair journey, but mm. relaxed, relaxed hair. That relaxed was my hair. first first move. Okay. So now I think I can help relaxed people actually really have good quality hair, like from relaxer. How do you do your relaxer the best way so it doesn't break, so it doesn't mm. thin, mm -hmm. so you have that bouncy, nice hair, but you know, growing. Mm -hmm. So I learned all that then, okay. until when now it became a struggle. Like my relaxers, I had to, to ask my husband to. Do to, to help you do it, yeah, do my relax and you know how how it's 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 a little hard. So I would stress him out. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like he's doing. I'm like, you have to hurry up to be fast. You know, I was like, no, this is so stressful. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just chill. Let me just go natural and learn about natural. So one day I woke up, I was done tired. I had a little like one inch mm -hmm. of natural hair. I just cut it all off. Oh my I'm like, good, and that was depressing. Care. Like she sent me a picture, and I'm like. <laughs> I what is this like? Hair. What's going on? Remember, like we had tried out growing out our hair so well, mm -hmm. and her hair yeah. was and still it was about long. here. Yeah. It was long. It was so good. Should I think even started training uh, some I, tutorials? Yeah, you know? I started also, you know, telling her what to do. Yeah, you know, to keep the hair. And I show up in the morning, and then she sends me this picture, like. Yeah, one, one inch. inch. <laughs> and so it depressed me. It really like so you had always tried also yeah, to have the same yeah, the kind same of hair. Yeah. You know, we're not that twins anymore. Like, like yeah. why, why did you do this? As in okay, I think it was kind of like hurtful. Yeah. But then she told me, I know, you know, I've discovered the natural hair journey and I think you wait for my hair. When it grows, you're going to love it. So she comes back two years later. Mm -hmm. And, I, and think I, I came back and I think I had about four inches. Of, no, 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 there's a time hair. you came back. No, before that, before, okay. before that. Remember when I came back home here? Yeah. And like my family was like, why did you cut your hair? Like, <laughs> you know, you know, like what people think about like natural hair, short hair, people are going to think you're stressed. You're broke. <laughs> or you're broke. <laughs> you know, it's, you know, it's like there was, there was a certain, you know, yeah. thing around natural hair and especially short, the word cut it, like people think you have issues in your marriage. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> So, you know, there's all those things, like she got married and now she cut her hair, because remember yeah. that we had, like, good hair, uh -huh. you know? So, and now I cut it, so, you know, sometimes people have issues, they go through, you know, uh, stuff in life that makes them do certain things, so, so they were worried, like, people might think, you know, yeah. I'm going through certain things. Yeah, yeah but you I are suffering. You know, you know, the I did not care. Because okay. I knew, I knew why I'd done it, yeah. I knew my, my situation back there. Yeah. So I didn't care. Actually, I loved it. For me, I enjoyed it. Everyone was like, mm. I'm like, hey, you guys, you wait, you know. <laughs> so, so yeah. So after like I think a year, mm. I came back and the game had changed. Okay. My hair was like flourishing. I was oh, like, yeah. Stopping. Like really, they loved I, it. Like we used to work together, mm -hmm. and like the attention went to her. Like everybody was saying, wow. Like she would come and flaunt it, like style it, like oh, change you know? it, like. Ah. <laughs> so. And yeah, it, like like people and you like still had relaxed hair. Yes, I yeah, did. Yeah, you still had relaxed hair. And I think that was the last time I ever made did a relaxer. Like when she went back, I had resolved. So you followed again. <laughs> no, again, again, again. <laughs> yeah. So she also made so, that decision. And yeah. She cut up, and she had help because now I knew the journey. I yeah. knew what she needed yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. So you know, I gave her all the tips, and she started. You know. Yeah. Doing her relax, yeah, sorry, her, her natural hair, styling it. Mm -hmm. 
So you can tell your story how people would like uh, Yeah, of course, being in the bank, and you know, the professional look was mm. known. Uh, you know, you know short which bank short were you working in? A stand big bank. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, short natural hair, sometimes it's a bit like, most especially you don't know. Right now we have solutions, but then yeah. it was just... People thought you looked like, you know, yeah. untidy. A bit rugged, like <laughs> what's up, you know, so... But somehow I would dress, I would dress with this kind of thing, like, like you know, I would just hit people back with like positivity, confidence. Yeah, and, like some yeah. confidence. But I knew down deep inside that I was just a little bit struggling. Okay, okay? and somehow I knew, mm -mm, you know, like my managers would say, hmm, but your hair. <laughs> they would say it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, somehow they they are trying to tell you. Tell we don't understand. Like, yeah. We need a more yeah, professional look. Yeah. That's what people understand. thought. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow I would laugh it off, yeah. you know, like somehow I would laugh it off. I would maybe say, oh yeah, this is the real me. You know, meet the, you know, this is the new me, eh? authentic self, you know, <laughs> things like that. So, but, but kind of like, also I tried to make it more creative. Like every time I would change it and say, eh, can now what is that? So, okay. what is that? So kind of like it started growing mm -hmm. and you were having fun it. with it yes, uh -huh. yes. uh, and I think at this time I was not really interfacing clients yeah. you know it's, it's difficult when you're interfacing the clientele but now I was in a uh, support function mm -hmm. so it was a little bit easier okay. to keep my hair and so I started like encouraging my colleagues and I remember I would tell them, eh, people, you had better come and help you with your hair when I'm not busy now. <laughs> Otherwise, there will come to a time when you cannot find me. <laughs> so they would say, mm, you with your dreams, as in dreamer, you know, you got, you love yourself so much. But I said, but I'm here to help you. Come and help you with your hair. Yeah. And so I remember I said it jokingly that, you know what? There'll be a time when it will not be easy to see me. Mm -hmm. I didn't know even what I was talking about yeah. anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. So... Now, when we come to this moment, they, they come to me and say, you know what, eh? do you know like you're really speaking about your life? Do you know like you're the most difficult person to find right now? Yeah. I, I, I think I also yeah. told you that. Yeah. I'm like, well, come yeah. to the salon, but you explain because, you know, know. there are yeah, different roles in the yeah. business. Wow, well, do you know I spoke about my life, yeah. not knowing actually that this would really turn out to be maybe that yeah so yeah kind of like they look back and they're like oh we thought you're joking can you imagine you made something out of this because yeah. every time yeah. i'll just talk about hair hair so when you were working at the bank had you already left the country yeah i left um so i left did you get married around the same time or no, yeah, we are seven months apart. Yeah, okay, okay, you know the month. Yeah, no. <laughs> seven <laughs> months apart. That is the same time. It's around the same time. Yeah, yeah. Same time. I was seven. going to say a year after, but she knows no, no, the exact, you know, no. exactly. Months. So who got married months first? Apart. You did? I did. You did. Yeah. Um, Always. She follows me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have to show her the past. <laughs> Remember the first day she told me she was, I think she, of course I knew. Uh, they were dating, they were saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, yes, but I think I never anticipated it to the marital time yeah. and so this day she comes and says i want to talk to you and i'm like okay what and then she says i'm um, getting married so i told her you know what don't tell me maybe i'm not ready don't tell me now so she's like but why i thought you'd be happy for me i said yeah i'm happy for you but i don't know how to I you anyway to me yeah. yeah. like we are going to have we are going to separate yeah. so yeah. and um because she was your person and you were yeah, her person. We were like, yes. <laughs> Tight. <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. everywhere like were you scared of telling her? Like empty and everywhere you go. Why are you scared of telling me or you? <laughs> no, actually, I didn't even think about it. You, know, <laughs> you were just happy. Like, she was in love. Yeah. So I didn't yeah. think about it. Yeah. So I think it was a bit, a little bit challenging. And I think that's when also she started like really taking it seriously and because after that they had to leave the country. I think that was the hardest part now, like Yeah, they had to leave. But then yeah. she kept saying that, you know what, also when you get married and you have this person in your life, uh, it will be easy. But thank God, thank God somehow, God worked it out. And I think before she left, yeah, before I, before I left, her wedding happened. Yeah, my yeah. wedding happened. So I was, I was and her, so everybody I was just... maid of honor. <laughs> she was my maid of and honor. And everybody was just...
saying that, oh, because her twin got married. <laughs> so now so she's feeling pressured to get married. <laughs> no. It yeah. just kind of worked out like that. But of course, according to everybody they knew, I am just also trying to, to match up that with that yeah. we are all married yeah. and I feel better. But I'm glad it happened at that time because she left me comfortable that I yeah, had somebody. Yeah, I she had somebody, you know, so yeah. that would be... Yes. Yeah. So it worked out. Okay. Yes, it did. Seven it months did. apart. You Seven guys. months really? apart. Seven yeah. months. Really we didn't even see that coming. Yeah. yeah. And that's why everybody it, it puzzled many people mm. that I was getting married so so quickly. Yeah, so how long did had you known your husband before you got? I think we married that year. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah, but I think. With going to the spiritual side, I think I'm a prayerful person. When I pray about something and I say, God, show me, and it manifests, and I'm sure and the other person from the other side is sure, mm -hmm. I think it didn't take as much to just to make that to decision. Decide. Yeah, because my, 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 my elder siblings called me with him and said, no, you can't get married now. It's so soon. Marriage is not easy. I told them, and they said, you're young. You're still young. Take your time. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, don't worry. How old were you? I think we were like 25, 24, 25. Okay, 24, okay, 24 25. I think she. so, yeah. Mm. 20, I was 24 when I got married. She was 25. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I think I was very determined. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not easy to change my mind or so. I think that's also your personality. Yeah, yeah. I think yes. when I've made yeah. up my mind on something, <laughs> sometimes it's not easy to, to change it. To change it. Yeah, especially things of the heart. Like, seriously, yeah, <laughs> someone, someone is not going to talk you out of something like that. Because it's really personal, you yeah. know? You know yeah. better, like, how you, you feel. You are sure. You know, you know. So I think it's hard to talk someone out of things like that. And also, she was very sure, like, okay, you know, she's that this kind of person that, uh, well, if I'm not really, if you're not sure about something, she'll always tell you, but I don't think it's... Yeah, I encouraged uh, her, like, I felt it was good. So you yeah. had met him and... Yeah, I'd met him. Actually, and she had met him before me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, and um, so, I think also the so fact actually, that also she believed in... I, I didn't know him really, but I met him before she did. Okay. And I think I kind of encouraged it. Oh, <laughs> are we saying like there was a little yeah. matchmaking there? But like I can, the beginning, but then... But also we had to be sure just as two adults, yeah. you know. Yeah. It was not, I of think she made our decision. decision at the end of, of the day. Yeah. But, but I think I kind of... You know, encourage you to be. Yeah, she was so sure about it. Yeah, know? I was. I knew. Well, I guess you knew her, and you knew the kind of man would be good. Yeah, for her, yeah. Right? I knew. I knew what she was looking for, what she wanted, and mm. this person had everything in line. So I met. I met him through friends, and then yeah, and then <laughs> he was single. I'm like, okay, you know, and I think he was ready too for that step. You know, sometimes it's hard, and people need. A little bit of help if you know someone and there's someone so no but yeah. also i think one thing also we know yeah that either way many people would have wished us together mm -hmm. if the two of us didn't feel Definitely. like Definitely. Yeah? yeah yeah i don't think it would have been a push from them yeah. but no, i think no, that no. we shared some things no, that just, were we very fundamental things, but it was definitely just to be a decision i think we shared their decision we shared certain things that were very fundamental to both of us and very important yeah. and these are things that i was really really looking out for and maybe i was not finding them and i was not sure but with him i was so sure because the things that were very fundamental to me he had and that was the faith aspect mm -hmm. it was so important that I, I i move a journey with somebody where our faith is the same and we take our faith seriously mm -hmm. and so i loved his conversations because there were faith conversations and i'm like okay god please i hope <laughs> no, no 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 i was like okay if he's the one but if he's not let me know and you know but he will come to me mm -hmm. if he comes to me then so you so got married, you me. got married, and then you left shortly after. Then I left shortly. Yeah. Okay, so that was for your husband's uh, job, was it? Yeah, yeah. My yeah. husband uh, uh, had to go work in the US, so, so that means wife, you follow, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that yeah, must have so been hard, though, being separated. Oh, I, I part of our separation. Like for me, yeah. marriage, I knew. 
would still be <laughs> together, like would still see each other, yeah. you know. But now the living, that the I living. Just struggled with it. Actually, when he asked me, like, would you be okay if we leave, and you know, because my aspirations are out there, you know, stuff like that. That's the part I really struggled with because I knew us living would be okay, but then I now I had to think about her like, okay, mm. how do I leave like leave my sister behind? Also leave yeah. familiar the familiar environment yeah. because I've never been out there like all my life. Yeah. So I, mean, I was still very comfortable being in Uganda. Like, I'm not that person who had dreams of being out. Mm -hmm. Maybe go visit, but stay. Maybe go visit, but stay. Mm -hmm. go no. and live there. So mm -hmm. for me, right yeah, it was a bit of a struggle. And I think also for our family, yeah. they knew it was going to be so difficult mm -hmm. because our parents had never separated us, never. Mm -hmm. I remember growing up uh, in school, much as she left me, mm -hmm. a class uh, below. Our dad made sure we have one suitcase <laughs> yeah. at school. At school, we went with one suitcase. Yeah, in primary. Yes, in we primary. had one suitcase and we put all our stuff there. <laughs> And so, so that means even where you used to, you have to, sh like your yeah, beds were right next to Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, always, uh -huh. always. So he, come to us he gave us one Benson. Yes. And so we had to share like shared everything. Stuff. Like for us, we shared everything. Yeah. There was no toothbrush, there was no panty, there was no... For us, it was the same. Yeah, that must have been hard. Yeah. No, 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 it was so easy. To share. No, I mean being separated. Yeah. 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 So, so we, we kept so close because also in school he never separated us. Even like different classes have different dormitories. Mm -hmm. For us, we stayed together yeah. because of that aspect. I think it was a very nice thing that he did for us. So now, after all these years, even at home, our bedroom was the same, yeah. like everywhere. We were in the same bed, like at home, like the twins, it was easy for them, I think, yes. for our parents. Or is it was like two we for one. We had to share. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so everything we shared. So I think was our more... family knew this separation also was going to be very... Of course, we had gone through the marriage. The marriage first separated us also. Mm. But now, separating. Yeah. Yeah. Go live your life, she lives her life. I think she said goodbye to everybody that time. And I think she was avoiding me, eh? you know, like at the airport, like she was hugging everyone. And I think she was like, kind of avoiding me. So then I told her, how come you're not saying goodbye to me? And I think when we said goodbye, we just broke down. We broke down and I think uh, also our parents, our yeah, dad. I think everyone was just in Everybody was like, was, everyone yeah, was very yeah, it was, even, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm remembering it, yeah, it was, it was tough. Yeah. Eh? Was mm. tough. So and I know we cried, and I think all oh, that time when you mm. know they were getting my papers, you know, like tears were just <laughs> flowing. Eh? But yeah, and, and so like yeah. um, I think her mother-in-law was there. Yeah, my yeah she was there. She, she was came. like, hey, yeah. I think Mulongo is not happy, you know. Yeah. So our dad said we have never separated them. Yeah. So yeah was difficult and so my siblings are like don't worry you go and visit her don't worry She'll come back. Yeah. yeah but you know as we say god works in mysterious ways yeah to them yeah. like you know for the business please keep there yeah. actually now <laughs> now looking back looking back it was all for good it was all it for was. good yeah we can't change anything no we can't right now yeah. All right and, now, and I we know can't. now that my place is there for now. My place is there, and her place is here, and yeah. it has worked out perfectly well. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and we've never been separated though, because still we, kept we, in we've touch. Never felt we are separated. Yeah, I don't think we have felt separated. No, no. Yeah, because now there's it's, it's easy to communicate. Yeah. You know. There's, yeah. There's WhatsApp. You can video. You know. You can talk like every day. So we yeah. don't feel like we're sure separated, do. which we do. Like yeah. we talk so often. <laughs> yeah. So we don't feel it anymore. Yeah, yeah we but, don't. But it's a good thing now, because looking back, we're like, okay, we'd have been together, but what would have been happening in our lives, you know? Yeah. So I think the the dimension of us being that she's here, I'm there, it has just it has been perfect. Yeah. 
Okay, so you were with your husband, yes. setting up your life in the US, yes. you were back here also, yeah. and then you were working in the bank. Then I remember you talking about saying that, you know, you left your stable job in the bank mm. to go for something uncertain, what people yeah. consider starting a saloon. Like, yeah, how do you leave really a good job? Like, how do you leave a bank to go And you were saloon. going through a really <laughs> rough time yes. in your personal life. Yes. Yes. It's true. Mm -hmm. um, I think like about maybe I think three years into our marriage, um, my husband got a health challenge. Um, he got like a breakdown, okay? And so being a young wife, mother of three, salary Anna, you know in the bank there's no time. Uh, I think banks hardly have time, but also Sometimes matching up salary with, with responsibility is not, was a challenge, okay, yeah. so, but it was such a difficult time that of course I had to be the breadwinner, okay, I had to figure out so many things. And you said before that your husband was kind of doing like everything. Yes, like, yeah, yeah I think he was the... I think wanted to take care of us. You know, yeah. this is my wife. I need to set all things are well. So he was the planner. You know, he just felt like, oh, plan with me. But I think he just wanted to take care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Review, okay? Mm -hmm. So take care of you. So see that everything was in line. So the business says, you know, he would take care. And so I think I was like that young wife, not young, I just felt like, okay, I think he's over babying me, I just want to be partner, you know, but he would say, no, don't worry, you know, all things are well, good. And so, yeah, I think when he went, uh, when he fell sick. Uh, Did you see it coming though? Not really. There are certain things that come slowly, okay, okay they come slowly, they come slowly and Somehow, yeah, things are changing, but you're not, okay, it's not so visible, yeah. but it's coming up slowly. And so, yeah, I think the businesses also had to, remember I didn't have hands-on, yeah. I think. He had so he was a businessman, but you had the job. Yeah, also he had left employment uh, to go do his businesses, yeah. and yeah, he had, estab he had a well-established, you know, business. It was doing well. Yeah. But then later it, you know, just crumbled slowly and mm. it was all gone, yeah. okay? And now he was down, not well, and I had to step up. Yeah. Step up, the baby, the baby wife <laughs> had, to, had to step up, so. Actually, you know, people mm. like always so maggy as this person who's, I don't know, they, they use a word that I don't like, yeah. but like, oh, Maggie's soft, you know, okay. she's soft, like she'll be that person like, I think lazy, please speak the word. Yeah, and anyone <laughs> says that word, like, you know. <laughs> like you like to be taken care of. <laughs> That's not what they say, like we are soft, like, so like we don't care. Like we are softies, eh? you know, like we, don't, we, we can't do well, hard things. What do they call a, a chicken, like chicken, uh, like bro fresh broilers? Like broilers. Eh? <laughs> Someone like, are you the broiler? Yeah, like, so like the broiler. So like your, not sorry, broiler. like your spoiled. Broilers, eh? Not, not spoiled, spoiled, but... Uh, but I think we look, in Luganda they call it chejo. Chejo. Uh, Naughty. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not like, yeah, but... I think soft. Yeah, soft, but like, so people can't do much, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I think, you know, it's mostly with her. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd realize that uh, people thought she's more, more of the... Maybe that's, that's why she, she felt like sometimes she has to, like, help make decisions for me. You know, like, follow. Okay, I, I was the like follow, follow, I like, think. Stress her. Like, she was just, easy, you know, <laughs> easy go, you know, yeah. you know, stuff yeah. like that. Not so people people used to think, ah, Maggie, yeah, Maggie's so soft. Like, this, you're soft with life, you know. You, so this... Like, you can't do much. So, you're so this timing... And then this is yeah. Coming, yes, this your is world happening. is pretty much and coming back yeah, yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. So you have three babies. Uh, you have your renting, mm -hmm. your paying fees. I think the two had started school, mm. and from our background, our dad really took education seriously. So even when we were going through a hard patch, there's no one was compromising. 
mm. compromising school. So you end up like to survive, you know, the soft loans, you know, you're hitting a loan there, loan there so that, you know, you see that the family does not crumble, mm. but also you have to feed. Did you have support from his family? No, we did. Mm. Actually, yeah, um, the family was supportive. Okay. Um, and you know, when something is like a long term, you know, you know something can happen and it's for short term. But if it's, it's a long term, everybody's trying to say, okay, what's plan B? <laughs> okay, yeah. what are you planning? You know, and you know, at that time when you're going through a hard, a hard time, anybody can make a decision for you. You know, at that time you're like, you're like a bit helpless. And, you know, if you need help, somebody will come and say, no, maybe take the kids from this school, take them to UPE, so that you can survive better. And I know they are coming from a good place. However, there are those things that, you know, you don't compromise about. And some people don't understand. Of course, it will still be judged because, you know, you're going through a hard patch. And now you're still trying to live, you know, that a life. certain life, mm. you know, man, <laughs> you know, like, okay. calm down, okay? Yeah, yeah and humble so... Humble yourself. Yeah, humble <laughs> yourself, yes, and you know, you could get advice like, you know, hope you're not giving birth anymore, you know? Wow. Yeah, yeah so somehow, yeah. you know, mm. as in... People always have an opinion, no? Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Like yeah. okay, and you 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 don't really judge them from that point because also they they do not see the end. I think they're end. coming from that point of they care. They yeah, care. Think, Though sometimes think, they don't know how to. <laughs> sometimes some things like when you care too much, yeah. you also don't know what line you're crossing. Eh? Yeah. yeah so. so, so I think we went through that hard patch for about five years because I remember, um, um, I think my mother-in-law was also very supportive because they'd say, okay, no, now I know you can't take care of kids, take care eh, of hubby. So let hubby come home so that you can concentrate on the kids. And so that was, I think, also very helpful. And uh, our rental was going high. We could not keep up on the bills. And so I had to make another hard decision. I had to move back home like to my parents' home for support because, you know, you can't tell the landlord all the time, sorry, we can't pay, you know, the bills are going high and, oh, God bless my landlord because at that time, I think we had an outstanding of about five million. So I kind of got 2.5, paid him, and this man said, because your husband is a good man, I will, I will, you will not pay the 2.5, go take care, so that it gets better. Oh my God, like, it was like, God had like rained down, like, who does this, who doesn't know you? And so I had to let my parents know that I needed help. And so I had to go back home with the kids. And of course, to the outsider, it seems like, you know, marriage is failing. Fail. I think marriage has failed. Mm -hmm. So, and but I didn't care anyway at that time. So, and and my parents were very great backbone. Mm -hmm. And so when we went home, it was easier. It was easier. But of course, you know, it's still not a long term, yeah. okay? And so, plan. and this is a time when you don't have the right answers. You seek God because at the end of the day. Humans also have where they stop. Yeah. And sometimes when you have a long-term issue, I mean, people move on with their lives, okay? Much as they try to support there and there, but in this thing, you're there. Mm. And also everybody's saying, oh, will this marriage last? You know, maybe she'll give up. But I think I had a great resolve. Yeah. I think that's the time I really understood what commitment means, what the vows I had uh, made uh, meant because I was in that test and I said no this is the time when my vows must make most the biggest meaning I cannot walk out I must stay in because I think this is when this person needs me the most to stay okay, in that's what you like you with the vows you know in sickness and in health you yeah. know, I think that's when the vows start to make sense yeah. Yeah, being that I was a young, I was still young. I was like around maybe 26 there, 27. But that was not so young. But for the challenge I was going through, 
everybody was like, oh, how, how did you handle? Like, eh, hey, most people would have run away. But I think, I was not even thinking about it. I was not even thinking to tell my sister, please, can we go abroad and we see how we, no, 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 no. I knew I had to go through. But were you talking to her about what you're going yeah, to do? Yeah, I was. Oh, yeah. Like, all the time. And, and I think she was like step, more worried for step. me. So for me, like as much as she was going through it, <laughs> it was like it was personal to me too.